thank you for attending the Year After Community College Symposium. I'm Stephanie Lane, and I'm going to start by telling a little bit about myself through my online portfolio I've created. First, I'm a goal-oriented person, and I strive to push myself every day to learn more than one thing. A quote that best describes me is, give me a fulcrum, or give me a lever long enough, and a fulcrum on which to place it, and I can move the world. This explains how my impact from the organizations and programs that I'm in, how each activity I do, I try to impact someone or something, and so eventually I can be impacting the world. Next are my goals. I want to graduate from the University of Michigan with my cellular and molecular biology degree, knowing that I gave 100%. With that degree, I want to become a geneticist that will research rare genetic diseases that people may often overlook. I believe that every person deserves the right to live their life to the fullest, and that means knowing why or how their disease has come about. I want to open my own nonprofit organization so I can raise money and awareness so that people be can become knowledgeable of the rare diseases that are out there. And with the research, I hope to perform further on for requests from families as they have experienced their own children that have struggled with their disabilities. On to my personal statement of what got me into science. When I was a young girl, probably you know, before my teenage years, my dad introduced me to a good friend, Robert Smith. He is a very knowledgeable man on many different things, but one in particular being science. He, him, him and I would talk about cloning and genetics and just how the material was relatable. And this really got my ideas turning, but I didn't really know where to go with it until my senior year where I began to learn and take hold of genetics. After talking with Robert about current information and things going on during that time, I just jumped on board and I knew this is what I was going to do. March 2011, Robert suddenly passed away. This has given me the drive and the passion to chase my dreams harder, to achieve anything I possibly can in any way, shape, or form, to just become a geneticist. So my degree and my research is 100% devoted and dedicated to Robert Smith. But that's enough about my research. It's on to my year off experience. So how did I hear about this program? Well, I took a campus tour with JCC just as I had taken them around last week. And as I'm sitting here, they were telling me about all their projects and opportunities that Europe had provided for them. And I was just glued. I could not even think or imagine that a program would be so awesome that this that this could actually be happening to these students. So at the end of it, I was invited to their symposium, which was last year's symposium, and I attended. I talked with John at the symposium and got ahead into the program, got a better understanding where I could be, what kind of projects I could be, and I was just I was amazed. I was beaming with joy of just that I had received such incredible knowledge and had the opportunity to be a part of such an incredible opportunity for undergrad students that aren't even currently here at the University of Michigan. After the symposium, I went back to JCC and I talked to my boss, Kelly, and she knew all about Europe as she had previously attended. I was more eager to get that application in my hand, to get that application sent in the mail, and then get the results as soon as I possibly could. Once I finally got the application, or once I finally got the application in, the waiting days were beyond brutal. But thankfully, I got a congratulations email, and I had tears of thankfulness streaming down my face. I knew from that day forward, things were about to change for the better, and boy, did they. I had big shoes to fill as an undergrad coming into the HTP lab, and I had a lot of new words and new processes to learn, but I took every opportunity I could to learn them. I am proud that I can now be told to go do something and I can do it without instruction. So, throughout the summer, I have been working in the High Therapeutic Protein, or HTP lab, in the Life Science Institute, it's actually right next door, and my mentors have been James Del Paso and Clay Brown. 
The HCP lab works with high throughput methods of bacteria and macular virus for her pro excuse me, protein production. They are currently working to develop the mammalian cell process. On a daily basis, some of my duties were completing many preps both by hand and with the Biomac FX robot, um, PCR constructions of fragments for cloning, picking colonies, running the lab chip, protein purification, and making glycerol stocks. The project's name is the development of new ligation independent cloning vectors and a high throughput process for parallel construct evaluation in mammalian cells. Using the construction of ligation independent cloning or LIC vectors, the high throughput method was used for expression in mammalian cells using the LIC sequence as the bacteria and macular virus vectors. Using Chinese hamster ovary cells or CHO cells, they were maintained as suspension cultures in certain ways. To validate the vectors and processes used, yellow fluorescent protein, or YFP, was used as a model. The YFP gene was cloned, and clones were used as a transfect CHO cell in 24 row blocks. The YFP fusions were then purified through filtered plate purification on the biomass, and the levels of protein production at each time point are shown on my gel. The future of this research project is to be repeated with HEX 293 T cells to expand the range of cell types that are available with this process. Also, FLAG and HA tags are being constructed as a new series of, three, of vectors that carry out the COX-2 signal sequence for secretion expression. As this program is coming to an end, I have learned so much. I have met great people, as far as the Europe staff, or staff, I have met great friends. I have made forever lasting connections and have created a networking network at U of M that I will always have. I have possibilities for publications as my or as these projects further develop. I have learned a lot about myself, but most importantly, I have gained important information and research skills that have better shaped me for the research I want to pursue. I am thankful that I've had such good mentors to guide me along. I have been invited back once I do come back to U of M to continue my research with the HCP lab. That is a great feeling. Lastly, throughout my summer, my view of Michigan has only grown better. I wanted to go to Michigan not because of the name or the success, but because of the great science and genetic programs that they have. To me, as a first generation college student, U of M always seemed that dream to me that was not obtainable. But it was worth a shot to try because what I thought was gonna happen was already my thoughts. Having the opportunity to be a part of Europe, I feel is my only chance I have to get into U of M. And I am beyond thankful that everything has fallen together. So within a year, I plan on transferring to the University of Michigan to continue to further chase my dreams of becoming a geneticist. Thank you for your time. Thank you.